What's up? Damn, one second. One second. My mic. My mic. Check your phone. Oh shoot. Let me get rid of this. You don't belong here. Get on my face. All right. There we go. Three, two, one. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? We are back with another episode of Gone Home. So I'm gonna be Zoom because I don't like being at home alone. Okay, uh, again, being home alone at the middle of the night in the middle of a storm where everything is just gone in madness. Yeah, that's, that stuff is scary. So, um, yeah, this should be the last episode, or at least the second to last episode. Um, I've heard some things like you can beat this game in less than five minutes. So, probably once I beat the game, I would like to do a quick mode or a speed run of how to beat the game. Because I think I know how to do it. But um, we're going to load the CD and we're going gonna... to sit here and enjoy your beautiful face. Your eyes are very pretty. Hello. Wow. As you can tell, I got new headphones. The Steel Series Good Wars 2 headphones. I got the mouse pad, the headphones, headphones the uh, mouse, and the keyboard that just came out. And then these headphones are way nice. I can't see Jack. I cannot see Jack. Where the heck are the lights? Where's the lights? Oh, there they are. Wow. Ooh. Ooh, kitchen. Whoops. <laughs> what do we got? Uh, we got a box of frozen spinach. I want to cook some of that today. Uh, what do we got? What else do we got here? Another one? Candy, 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 uh, Sam, work at Crown Burger, oh yeah, she works at the burger place. An invitation. And we got ketchup, milk, I'm allergic to milk, or oh, I'm lactose, whoa, skip. What is this? Cola! I don't like sodas, ironically. Read story. Samantha and Daniel were words. Blah, blah, blah. Whoa, oh, oh, no. Daniel finally came over to get his game. Woo. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. Really? Oh, that's adorable. I started reading it. And then there I was, Woo. crying at the kitchen table. Fork. He asked what was wrong. And I was thinking about how we used to be friends. How much I take him for granted. But instead, I told him about school and dad and Lonnie. Whoa, what the hell happened and how here? Sorry, I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. It will be okay. For some reason. It will be okay. It's always okay. I almost believed him. It is okay. Ah, oh, come on, man. Don't do that. What is this? Another book. Ooh, it's, it's packaging. I don't know. No, I don't want to open these cassettes. Okay, you know how many times? Fine. It's gonna be awful. Watch. Ooh. Why wow, headphones are good? Uh. Uh. Alright, enough of that. Uh, we got a phone. Let me that. Well, what the? Kitchen. Ooh! Hippos! I love a cereal. A cereal. What's that? Marshmallows? Dough chips. Cans, cans, cans. Dustpan. Come on, let's go clean up this mess. There's not like there's anything here. Wow, what the heck happened in this place? Alright, guys. This disc shall never be seen by man again. I'm just gonna. Oh, don't do that to me, jeez! I swear, I thought something like was gonna open. Come on, come on, we can do this. It's not that hard. We can do this. Nailed it. Hehe. <laughs> come on. Start. What's the start button? Start. Lame. All right. Well, there'll be nothing in the kitchen.
the fuck? There's a ghost show. Well, Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. Damn, what the heck? Put that back in. She was singing. I could practically forget everything. But we only had 48 hours left. It, I don't know what comes next. And I can't live without her. <laughs> then she dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Yes. All right. Uh, yeah. As you can tell, we're getting more of the story done. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just doing laundry. Your last, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you do laundry. Well, it's like a, uh, a greenhouse. Yeah, that's what it's called. There's lights. There are no lights in the greenhouse. What is this madness? Lights. What do we got? Got a manuscript. Get some kind of letter. Got a pamphlet. Got another pamphlet. A cover copy. Oh no, what's this? Oh, that's that secret place that we found. We agreed our last night together would be our I don't like these night. windows. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. Alright. We worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. Attic. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. To the attic! It's, I believe this is, there it is. Oh my god, it's the freaking Ouija boy. Oh my god. Oh, oh, the other combination, zero. Got it. Freaking Ouija boy, I don't like that. Oh, no, no, okay, that's that Oscar dude. That, you know that little creepy room we found? Yeah, it has to do with him. And, you know, you know how kids are, and, and, um... Shovel of doors. Uh, I believe I have the code, and it is zero five zero one. That's an easy combination. Zero five. Again, sorry about the baby in the back. This is why I'm on Uncle JBL for a reason. One more. Ah! Oh, and there's Lonnie. Hi, girls. We're here. I don't know why. It's kind of a weird thing. Lonnie came over today. We got the basement key. We, we all went to the basement. Different. Yeah. She's tired. She's stealing. She was sitting at my desk chair. Smoking. But she wouldn't look at me. <laughs> Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think. But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say. <sighs> but I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry. But I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever. And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> Well, we're learning a lot about our sister Sam. Um, one second, let me check where we need to go. Okay, because we got the um, basement key, but where is the point? We already went past the basement. Well, you went to the basement. So basically, there's no point for us to go in the basement. She told us not to go in the attic. So we're going to go in the attic. Because we had have, we have the basement key. Now we have the attic key. And I think we're... I think that's pretty much... Why does it do this now? I don't understand that. Anyways. We have the attic key, so... Let's go into the attic. Yeah, it's not creepy at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slow motion. Oh my god. Hello? Hello? 
There's a note there. Ah. Uh, Katie, I fell asleep in the attic, in Lonnie and my old spot, and I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it, and it was Lonnie, on a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't, she couldn't think of anything but me, and us, and that she couldn't go through with it, with the army and being a part, and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Oh, she said yes. Oh my god, hide in the corner like a little bitch. This is the end. This is the end. I didn't think it would be that quick. That's it. I'm gonna shut my face and do not read if you're not Katie. Katie, I'm so sorry. That I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal, and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me, and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again, someday. Love, Sam. All right, guys. That was the ending. I mean, I, I kind of winning in, winning, winning into this 
because I kind of heard, like I said, I, I knew about the, not about the ending, but I knew about that people saying that, oh, it's a short game, it's not worth 20 bucks. Um, I thought like, oh man, maybe it's kind of like a point and click kind of game. The screenshots look cool, and they said that it's a good story, and so I was like, okay, why not? Let me check it out. So yeah, uh, apparently, you know, Sam was going through that period of trying to find who you are as a person and yourself. And she couldn't do it, you know, because this is this take place in the '90s. So back in the '90s, it, you know, it, everybody was very. It's not how it is today. It was worse actually than it is today. Um, and, you know, the whole gays and I didn't mean gays, but loving another gender that's similar to your own was frowned upon. And yeah, she was going through that and. With uh, Lonnie going to the army, she I guess she loved Sam too much, and they decided to run off together, which explains why the VCR was gone, or the house was thrashed, most of the food was gone. Damn you, Sam, eating all the pizza. So it's kind of a serious ending. It, it depends on how you want to look at it, but I still enjoyed it. It was definitely a great game. Is it worth the 20 price tag? Not really. I would say 15 at the most. But nonetheless, it was still good. It was still a good game. Very great st storytelling and pacing of the game. I thought it was like some kind of murder house, but you, you you never know with these type of games. And I really dig the way they did the storytelling. Even though, you know, if you don't, if you do this thing or this thing, and if you find this piece and this piece, you can kind of get lost in the story. But if you stay stick with it and put all the information together, and at the end, it really does explain like what happens to Sam, your parents. I skipped most of the text because if I didn't, it would take like 10 episodes just to finish this. But um, yeah, we're going to end it there. But like and favorite, if you guys enjoyed, it's kind of a serious message, you know, find your find your way kind of thing. The power of love conquered it all. Yeah, but um, I enjoyed it. I hope you did enjoy it as well. Like and favorite, if you guys enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already to join me in my quest for awesomeness, laughter, stupidity, and whatever else that may be cool at the moment. And, you know, to discover ourselves and just to have fun and laugh and all that good jazz i'll see you guys next time right you guys have a wonderful day and as always peace i'll see you guys in the next let's play we do if you have any suggestions leave them in the comment section down below all right that's it peace later Ooh.